What went wrong with Suicide Squad? When David Ayer's Suicide Squad trailer came out, it looked great and had a lot of positive buzz. But after the movie came out, it was panned by critics and the audiences definitely felt the film was a failure. And this disconnect is where the issues arose. David Ayer is primarily known for directing dark gritty crime and action films. And in post-production, the Warner Brothers executives, having just released the very popular lighthearted teaser trailer, became nervous that Ayer's dark version of the film wouldn't match the playful tone being set by the trailers. Warner Brothers then turned to Trailer Park, the company that made the trailer, to develop a separate cut of the film. The new cut included jazzed up graphics introducing members of the group to mimic the vibe of Guardians of the Galaxy. Ayer's cut and Trailer Park's cut were screened for test audiences and responding to the feedback, Warner Brothers spent millions of dollars on reshoots, steering the film in Trailer Park's direction, cutting out a lot of the original scenes. This disorganization with the tone and the direction and the reshoots and the flip-flopping ultimately resulted in the jumbled and incoherent version of the film that we got to see in theaters.